Thank you. Welcome everyone to Grand Skill Acting Classes. And today, we want to start from the introduction to acting. Introduction to acting. For all those of you who have been aspiring to be an actor, you want to get on the big screen, you want to be on the billboards, you want to be everywhere, this is where it starts. It starts from you first understanding what acting is. Now, there's one thing I want you guys to get. So many people, there are so many people, so many actors who, if you, if you ask them, what is acting? They don't even know what acting is. And that's where your major problem starts. It's just like a doctor to say, I, if you ask a doctor, who is a doctor? And the doctor is just beating around the bush. Okay, right now, if I ask you, who is an actor? Or what is acting? You still discover that you just be beating around the bridge. I get it. So this way it starts from introduction to acting. Now, I'm going to make this class as brief as possible and I want you to follow just exactly how it is. Now, first thing first, you have dictionary. Dictionary giving different definition to acting. And we are not going to use dictionary definition. You, you go to dictionary, have the enactment of character, you go to another place, you step into actor, another a character should have different different definition to acting. But right now I'm going to use a layman way of defining acting for you. Are we together so you can you know get this thing perfectly? I don't want to use dictionary definition, I don't want to use Google definition or anything. I just want to use a very simple way to define it for you. Now what is acting? Now one thing I want you guys to understand is this acting is not pretense. Acting is not a lie. Acting is not you stepping into anybody's shoes or trying to be any person. Acting is real. Are we together? Now let me repeat that word. And I want you to just place your mind very well and allow this thing to sink in you. I'm going to get stage by stage, I'm going to build on what I just said. Now, acting is not pretense. Acting is not a lie. Acting is not trying to fake anything or trying to be someone else. Acting is real. Now, once you understand that acting is real and acting is not pretense, you will not be struggling to be the character. I get it. The major reason why you're always struggling to become the character is because you always feel that acting is, is you trying to be someone else. But acting has never been you trying to be someone else. It has been you being yourself. Are we together? Now I'm going to explain this and I'm going to end this class here. Look, you know, oftentimes the major question I've always been, I'm a very gentle person. I'm a very reserved person. And they told me to play a role of someone who is very, you know, very aggressive, someone who is very loud. And I'm always very reserved. I'm not the talking type of person. Is that not the two different person? Are we together? This is one of the major questions a lot of people ask. And a lot of, you know, acting coach will try to tell you, assume, just try to play someone else. But now I'm going to just break it down for you to get it correctly. Now, when you get into a performance, you're not always trying to be someone else. You are just trying to be yourself. You are just being yourself in another phase. Now, let me explain this. You know, what happened to you that for you to be reserved is because you've grown so used to your environment. I get it. I'm going to use an illustration. If you were a child and you were raised from a deeper life, are we together that you, you, you're raised from this religious deeper life is a, is a church is a is a church in Nigeria although it's now global it's a church in Nigeria but they have a way of the way that they dress I get it it's how they follow their own religion is it's still the normal thing we have now if you're from that kind of religion whereby they you know you are not allowed to wear trousers you are not allowed to put on your nails you know even some are cosmetics is highly prohibited and there are some kind of dress Dressing you are not allowed. If you do it, they count you as if you have seen. I get it. In, imagine you're raised from that kind of family. Do you, one thing that will affect you, your dress sense will be affected. The way you communicate with people will be affected. 
It's not like you can't use some kind of words. Like, there are some kind of state. You can't just say, fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, that word fuck you is more like you are, you are seen. You are seen already. So you can't even try to use that kind of statement. Are we together? Now, your religion has affected you as a person and it has changed your kind of performance. Now, you you discover, as I said earlier, on, your dress sense is affected, a lot of things are affected around you. Now, in the same you, you were being you were raised in a family of, um, let's say, you were raised in a family of, or let's say you, you've gone to school, you went to school, and then you, you mingle with some kind of people, some kind of friends, and they started introducing some kind of lifestyle to you. They tell you that, man, this shoe you are wearing, this your color, this gown is not fitting. Now you're supposed to be a short skirt, you know. You discover that once you mingle with these people for some time, you will change. Wearing those normal old dress will look so okay to you, and you will start changing your dress sense. Now, is it not the same you that is playing another role? It's still the same. You. And let us say, if you are to be raised, if you are raised up in the ghetto areas, the same you, your parents were from a ghetto area and they like, you know, early in the morning you see them waking up, this one is carrying bottles, this one is saying some slang, this one is saying some slang. You will discover that this same you will be speaking like that. You will be talking like that. You will be behaving like that because that's the environment you find yourself. Now, is this character different from you? No, it's still you. But why, why does it come that when you want to act, it now looks like you want to play another character. character, character. Now, this one thing you must always understand. As a human being, you're being designed with different kind of personalities. I get it. You can be a thought if you want to be a thought. You can be a reserved person if you choose to be a reserved person. You can be a funny person if you choose to be a funny person. You can be a very, you can be anything if you choose to be. The way God created you is that if you, you are being wired with different kind of personalities. But oftentimes we allow our environment and people around us to, to influence us to the point that we, we don't explore some kind of things which is already in us. Now, if you want to be a professional actor, start learning to explore some certain things that is, that is not just normal with you. Don't be, don't be too used to being reserved. Don't be too used to being a loud person. Don't be too used. Don't be used to, you know, being quiet. If you're a quiet person, try to explore being jovial. Get among people that are around you. Just try to be jovial, crack joke. Even if the joke is not funny at first, with time you'll discover that some of your muscles will start working towards it because you'll start saying something people will laugh. Now, if you want to be a professional actor, start exploring some certain things that are not inside of you. Are we together? Start exploring them. If you're quiet, go to go out from your comfort quiet zone. Start talking to people. If you're if you if you're always you know this kind of person in, in head like just like just start exploring other kind of personalities. One thing I want you to understand is this thing is inside of you. It's not far from you. It's right inside of you. So if you want to get them out, you have to just give yourself a room to start experiencing those things. And you start seeing yourself doing some certain things you cannot do. You don't have to act like Messi Johnson. You don't have to act like Inyego in, in or any of them. You just need to be yourself. Are we together? Just become the character. Discover that personality inside of you and behave to act it the way you are supposed to do it. That's the only way you're acting with you. People will like to appreciate you. In the next class, I'm going to teach you how to, you know, build this kind of, how to, you know, Bring out these personalities inside of you and make them real. How to move from a, a, a quiet person to be a very, you know, a talking person. How to, all this thing I'm going to teach you in the next class. All right. If you know you love this class, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Stay updated with all our content. Terms. Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification 
to all so you will be the first to get our video tutorials we'll be posting at all time also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us improve more thank you